Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is McKenna and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create this Shopify website from scratch. This website is optimized to look perfect on mobile and desktop. So without further ado, let's get into this tutorial. Okay, so I'm here on Shopify and the first thing you're going to want to do is go to online store and then the themes section. Next, you're just going to want to scroll down and then here you will see some of their theme templates. So I'm just going to add the Dawn theme and this is going to be the base for our website. So once the Dawn theme has installed, you're just going to click customize. So this is going to be the base for our website. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on the announcement bar and then I'm just going to click remove section. Then I'm going to click on the header and right under desktop logo position, I'm going to center this to middle center. Really quickly, I'm going to show you how you can add your logo. You're just going to go to theme settings. You're going to go to logo. And then right here, you'll be able to upload your logo image and your favicon image. So when you click logo, you'll be able to import a picture from your computer. Once you've uploaded your logo, you're just gonna click done and it will upload right here. Now, as you can see, the logo is pretty small. So I'm just gonna go under desktop logo width and then increase the size. Once you're done with that, I'm gonna show you guys how to create the image banner. So first I'm just gonna click on image banner and then I'm gonna turn the image overlay opacity to zero. That way our image will show fully opaque. I'm gonna click on this heading box and then click remove block. Then I'm gonna click on the button label. So right now it is just linked to all of my product. I'm gonna remove the outline button style. And as you can see, the button label is currently white. So to change that, I'm gonna change that to black. I'm just gonna go to theme settings. I'm gonna go to colors and the button label is currently set to color scheme 3 so i'm going to click on this and for the solid button background i'm going to change it to black then for the solid button label i'm going to change this to white all right so i've opened up canva and here i'm going to show you guys how to create the image banners so for the main image banner the first thing i'm going to do is open up my template i'm going to put the dimensions on the screen that i use for this web banner so i'm going to go to the elements section i'm going to scroll down and i'm going to apply a grid to cover the full page to upload your picture just click upload files all right so to add your image you're just going to select and drag it onto the screen and then when you double click it you'll be able to adjust it however you want um, as well as zoom in if you need to. So to add the text, you're just gonna go to text and then you're gonna upload a subheading. I'm gonna change the color of this to white and then I'm gonna put the font in uppercase. I'm gonna apply the font brown sugar and then you can go ahead and type in your heading text. Right here, I'm gonna click effects and then I'm gonna apply the lift effect. Next, I'm just going to duplicate this text box and I'm gonna create a smaller text right below the title. I'm going to change this font to the seasons. Next, I'm just gonna duplicate this font. I'm gonna remove the uppercase and then I'm gonna apply the font Beautifully Delicious. Once you're finished with that, you have your main image banner. So you're just gonna click share and then you're gonna go ahead and download this in a PNG format. All right, so I'm back here on Shopify and once you click on your image banner, you're just gonna click select image and you'll be able to upload that web banner. Once you've done that, you're gonna wanna scroll down and right under banner height, you're gonna apply adapt to first image. And so far, here is how your website is going to look. Now I'm gonna show you how to add your collection list. So if you don't know what a collection is on Shopify, it is just a collection of products that you put together and you can title your collection. So right in between these two sections, I'm gonna click add section and then I'm gonna apply collection list. Right under number of columns on desktop, I'm gonna increase this to four. And then to add the fourth collection, you're just gonna click this add block. Next, you can change the heading text. So I want this section to be a light shade of pink, so I'm just going to go to color scheme 2 and then I'm going to change this to the shade of pink that I want. And then once you click on collection list again, right under color scheme, you're going to apply color scheme 2. I'd like to change this heading text to a sheriff font, so I'm going to go to typography and then for the main font, I'm just going to change this to a sheriff font. Once you're done with that, now you can upload your collection. Once you're finished with that, here is how the featured collections list will look. 
Next, I'm going to show you how to make the About Us section. So right in between these two sections, you're just going to add an image banner. Then I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to remove the container on desktop and the container on mobile. I'm going to click on the button labels and then I'm just going to remove the second button label. Next, you can go ahead and type in your text. Once you're done with that, I'm going to change the color scheme to color scheme 4. So you're just going to want to use a color scheme that has white text and then a black button label. So I went to select image and I'm just going to upload the background image that I want to add. And now to add the fixed background movement, you're just going to scroll down and right under image behavior, you're just going to select fixed background position. And that is how I completed the about us section. Next, I'm going to show you how to add the shop quality section. So right in between these sections, I'm just going to apply multi-column. First, I'm going to remove the button label. Right here under column alignment, I'm going to change this to center. And then I'm going to remove the column background. I'm also going to remove the heading. Next, you can insert your text for these columns. Now I'm going to show you how to add the little icon badges. So I'm just here on the same web banner template on Canva and I'm just going to click add page. Right here in elements, you're just going to search for whichever element you would like to add. So I'm just going to add the quality icon. Then I'm going to add another page. Now I'm going to add a fast shipping icon. And then lastly, I'm going to add a customer service icon. Once you're finished with these, you're just going to download them. I'm back on Shopify and I'm just going to click on a column and then you're going to click select image and here you'll be able to upload those icon badges. Now you're just going to want to click on multi column and right under image width I'm just going to change this to half width of column. And that is how I created the shop quality section and of course I'm just using this as an example but you'll be able to add your text right into these fields. Alright, so I'm going to show you how to add your featured product collection. So right in between these sections, I'm just going to add featured collection. Then you can go ahead and title this whatever you would like. Then I'm just going to scroll down and right under color scheme, I'm going to select color scheme 2. And then right under collection, you can select the product collection that you would like to be featured. Alright, and once you're done, that is how to add your featured collection. Just a heads up, this website is currently available on my shop for download in case you guys just want to get my template. It is a full done for you website template and it includes all of the Canva templates that you see me putting together. That will be linked in the description along with a discount code. So next, I'm going to show you how to create the customer review section. I'm just going to add multi-column. Then I'm going to scroll down and I'm just going to remove this button label. I'm going to set the column alignment to center. And then I'm going to increase the number of columns to four. Then I'm going to click on one of the columns. And then right here under heading, I'm just going to paste a few of the star emojis. And then right here under description is where you can type in your customer's review. And then I'd recommend putting their name as well. So I'm just going to put a little example text. And as you can see, I would put their name in bold. Alright, so I'm back here on Canva and I'm going to show you how to create the circular customer review picture. So I'm just going to use the same template we're already on. I'm just going to click add page. Then here in elements, I'm just going to add a circle frame. All right, and then you'll be able to drag and drop your customer's photo into this photo frame. Then I'm just going to duplicate this four times and then just add the remaining pictures. Next, you're just going to want to download these in a PNG format. Here on Shopify, you're going to click on your column and then you're going to click select image. Then you're just going to upload each of these one by one. Next, right under image width, I'm just going to select half width of column. And once you're finished, that is how I created the customer feedback section. For the next image banner, I'm just going to click add section and then I'm going to add a image banner. I'm going to click on the button labels and then I'm going to remove the second button label. Next, you can insert your text. So I'm back here on Canva and on the same web banner template, I'm just going to click add page. Under elements, I'm just going to add a grid. I'm going to add the second to image grid and then I'm going to remove the spacing. Next, you're just going to want to drag and drop your pictures onto the canvas. Once you're done with that, I'm just going to download this in a PNG format. And then I'm just going to upload that onto Shopify. I'm going to change the banner height to adapt to first image. Once you're finished, here is how the image banner will look. 
to add the email sign up, I'm just going to click add section and then I'm going to add just an email sign up and then you can change the text to whatever you'd like. To add the blog post section, I'm just going to add a section and then I'm going to select multi row. As you can see, there are three rows, so I'm just going to remove one of these but you can keep them all in if you would like. Under color scheme, I'm gonna change this to color scheme two. Right under button style, I'm gonna change this to solid button. When you click on one of the rows, you can change the heading text to say the title of your blog post as well as the button label title. Once you're finished, you can just upload an image for the cover of the blog post. And right here under button link, you'll be able to paste your link straight to your blog post. Next, we're going to add our Instagram section. So I'm just going to add a multi-column. Right here under heading, I'm just going to put my title. For the text, you can just put the caption of your Instagram post. Then you can rename the button label and then you can link your Instagram. I'm going to increase the number of columns to four. And then one by one, you can upload the Instagram post that you would like to feature. And that is how I created the Instagram post section. For the next image banner, I'm just gonna apply a image banner. Then you can type in your text. I'm gonna remove one of these button labels and then I'm gonna apply the outline button style. I'm gonna scroll down and right under image behavior, I'm gonna select fixed background position. Then here you can upload whichever picture you would like to add. And once you're finished, here's how that image banner will look. All right, and then lastly, to add the Let's Connect section, I'm just gonna add a image banner. Right here, I'm just gonna remove all of the text blocks as well as the button labels. So I'm back here on Canva and I'm just gonna add another page to the web banner template that we're on. I'm gonna change this to the same light shade of pink that we've been using for the background. And then I'm gonna design this page. It's just gonna say Let's Connect and then it's gonna have the social media icons. All right, so I've just put some random text here as an example, but this font is authentic. This font is brown sugar. Um, these fonts are glacial indifference, and this font is Alta. And for the social media icons, I just searched for the icons here on the elements section, and then I just inserted the ones that I wanted to add. Then I'm gonna download this in a PNG format, and then I'm just gonna upload that here on Shopify. And then right under banner height, I'm just gonna leave it at medium. All right, and here is the finished website. Like I mentioned before, this website is currently available on my store. I'll put a discount code for you guys in the description box. It includes all of the Canva templates that you saw me creating throughout this video, so you don't have to create those from scratch. The link for that will be in my description box. I hope this video was helpful. If you're interested in another style of website, do check out this video that I have on my channel.